Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel for today's video. It's gonna be a chill, 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 chill video. I'm going to be, just be doing a get ready with me using some products that I haven't used in a while and just other products that I wanted to use. And then we're gonna do 50k giveaway. No big deal. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. <sighs> no intro today. I just feel like playing with makeup and of course, elephant in the room, we hit 50K. I mean, okay, at this point that I'm filming this, I'm at like 51K, but I'm doing a giveaway already. That happened right before I hit 50K and the comments were just nuts. So I wanted that to slow down before I did my 50K giveaway because getting too many comments, man, it's, it stresses me out. I'm a person who likes to respond back to comments when I can, but it's been a bit much the last two weeks. I have taken a step back from that and I do apologize if you've commented recently I just I'm too busy <laughs> anyways most of the makeup I'm using today is just random makeup that I wanted to use with the exception of Odin's eye at this point has officially revealed their newest collection their stuff has been hiding in my root and I can't wait to show you so I'm gonna take my first dip and do my first look using one of the palettes from the collection uh, we'll get into that when we get into that so to to prime my face, first I'm gonna spray a little bit of the Laneige Cream Skin Mist. I like to use this if my face is a little bit dry, just right before it works, just like a moisturizer. And then we're gonna go in with the Vesca Soft Sun Radiant Skin. I'm still kind of testing this guy out, seeing how much I like it compared to Charlotte Tilbury and soon to be Auric, but I'm going to just apply this in the high point points of my face because it adds like a really nice natural glow. This has a little bit of like a kinky tone to it, which I think is so pretty. I'm actually going to leave this out because I want to try this on top of foundation as well, just to see how it looks on top. I did do a makeup look earlier today, so that's why it's a little bit dark under there. I did not clean it up good enough. And for foundation, it's been a hot minute since I've used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, so I kind of just... What? So I kind of just grabbed it. I want to talk about how I hit 50K, which is crazy. It's been a couple weeks at this point, but 50K, when you think about it, is such a big number. I don't know. I still feel like the same that I did when I had 2,000 followers. You know, I still feel like a really small channel. I also still feel like I'm new to YouTube, but it's my third year on YouTube also. So, and in internet time, three years is almost ancient, you know? So I still feel like I'm new to the makeup review community all time. I'm one of the older channels at this point, which is crazy to think about. So I still feel you young and fresh in the YouTube community. I still feel like I'm trying to get my first thousand subscribers. So it really is quite, quite humbling to take a step back and realize oh, you've hit 50K. Like your next major milestone is to hit 100K, which <laughs> first of all, if you had told me I'd ever hit 5k I wouldn't have believed you three years ago let alone 50k so the numbers rising especially in the last year 2020 been beyond shocking it's completely changed the trajectory of what I want to do in life and my passion and my interest it's just YouTube has completely transformed me and changed my life like not to be dramatic but it has changed my life in such a dramatic way even with a 50k following small in the terms of people have millions but huge in the fact that like I feel like I'm 50,000 people are watching me okay 50,000 people know who I am that's crazy <laughs> So one of the things that when I started my YouTube that was weird to me was I felt like I wasn't talking to anybody But then like if you're a teacher, I teach a class of 30 You know, I spend all this time planning just to help and teach a class of 30 and YouTube's kind of like that You know the educator comes out of me in a lot of videos and I'm teaching a way more than a class of 30 in my videos and sometimes I Forget that I'm gonna use the Fenty uh, brow pencil. I haven't used that in a while. I don't know you guys like I said, I feel like I still have a thousand subscribers and I'm still new to YouTube, even though that's 
that's not quite the case. Genuinely, YouTube has changed my life and I can't imagine not having a YouTube channel. I'm so grateful for the day that I decided to create a YouTube channel because, you know, it gave me an outlet. It gave me a passion. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, of course I'd be teaching. I take YouTube as seriously as I take my job. So straight up, when I say I'm working two full-time jobs, I mean it. I dedicate the daytime to teaching, lesson planning, trying to give the best that I can for my kids in this environment and then I come home and I'm filming and I'm editing while trying to squeeze in exercise and I'm very very proud of myself honestly I'm doing a good job and it's just I'm so thankful to you guys for all the opportunities that you have given me and honestly for a lot of like big dreams that I didn't even know I had coming true if you had told me two three years ago that I would do sponsorships with Sephora with Pat McGrath I don't know. It's crazy to me, honestly. So I just want to thank you guys for watching my channel, for supporting my channel, for thumbsing up a video. Like the support goes so far. And of course, I don't do YouTube for the money, but it has gotten to the point where financially I am able to provide you the content that I want to be able to give you. I'm so happy with the quality of my content. I am able to pretty much buy any makeup item that that I want for my channel and it not burning a hole in my pocket. It's unbelievable that you guys have given me this ability to teach you, to educate you, to help you save your money and in some cases spend your money on a product that makes you feel good. I can't believe I'm in the position that I'm in and it's all because of you guys from simply liking my videos, commenting, viewing, watching the whole thing through. It makes a big difference. I can't believe that. Why do people want to watch me? <laughs> and for all of you who do comment, you're a regular supporter and you comment on all of my videos, I at least read all of your comments. I, I notice and I know those of you who are my true supporters who do take the time to comment on every single one of my video. And for you guys especially, I do try to make an effort to comment as much as I can back to you because I'm so forever grateful for the life that you are changing. Like you are changing my life. I'm not a mushy person. I'm not very good at speaking like this, but being like completely completely honest, straight up, not being dramatic at all. You have changed my life with just 50,000 subscribers. And I really do hope that I'm saying, you know, you guys give me so much. I hope that I'm able in some way to give you something as well. You know, whether it's I save your money or I help you find products or I teach you about makeup, teach you how to feel good about yourself, to feel comfortable wearing certain colors, applying your makeup a certain way, feeling comfortable comfortable that like you have somebody else you can talk to as far as makeup goes not feeling uncomfortable with the size of your makeup collection to my fellow makeup hoarders I hope I'm not wasting anybody's time I hope I'm not wasting my time and that I am able to help you guys just as much as you guys help me and I'm not even talking to just my old supporters who by the way if you are an old supporter of course very very grateful for you for being here from the beginning but also my new sub supporters as well who might have found my channel recently or in the last year or in quarantine. Like, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos every minute that you stay for a video. It helps you to push my videos out and it's not about the views, it's not about the numbers, but I would be lying to say I don't get down when a video doesn't do well or, you know, I spend a lot of money on a product and then the reviewed video doesn't make up for what I spent. I buy products, I spend my money so you don't have to. And the fact that you guys give back to me by watching my videos and helping my AdSense go up and shopping through my affiliate links like that's the reason why I'm able to continue to do what I'm doing and I'm so grateful I want you guys to know that I'm gonna try this Besca thing again I want to see how it looks again I'm not very good at being mushy gushy but I do want you guys to know that particularly in the last year with quarantine and just being able to focus on my channel and really build it that my life is so different and 
it's so much more fulfilled. I've been able to come up with real goals for myself and what I want in life. And I'm really, really excited to see what 2021 brings for my channel. Obviously, I do hope growth happens because I love talking to you guys. I love having the community that I do have and I would love to build on that even more. This makes a really pretty like subtle glow. Do you guys see that? Huh, it's not anything crazy, but I, I think I like it on top of foundation better. I've just been curious about that. I'm going to use the Kissed by Santorini bronzer also from Vesca. Enough of that. Thank you. Just thank you. That's all. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. It's a snowy day today. I'm hoping I don't have to go into work tomorrow and I can teach from home because yes, we have started going into the building. I'm a PE teacher for those of you who don't know and normally PE teachers, like we don't get our own office. We share with other PE teachers. Last year I was in an office because we were in a team of six. So six of us squeezed in a tiny little office. This year I have a co-teacher so the two of us squeeze in a little office. So not very COVID friendly. So I've been pushed to the equipment closet which thankfully is quite large I don't mind it I actually kind of like it but I just it's so boring how pretty is that bronzer it blended so beautifully we're gonna do only one eye because I'm using the Odin's eye new Norn's eyeshadow palette get get a load of this I have not seen a palette like this that I can think of right now look at these look at these I'm going to do this eye live with you I'm gonna do this eye when the camera's off because I do want to put a portion of this tutorial in in my review because I'm starting to like try these products out for the review and I don't know if I'm gonna have the Odin's Eye video out before this or after I post this video I'm not quite sure but I mean you'll know blowing at myself right now because <laughs> I really thought I would have time to edit this video and here we are like three weeks after the Odin's Eye review has been posted. But anyways, the day that I'm filming this is my first experience with the collection. I'm so pumped. We're just gonna do one eye though. I don't even know. I wanna do like one of these three colors. So I should probably start off with some of Days right here, which is a light gray color. Um, I don't even really remember what I was talking about, but I'm in school right now, so that's why upload numbers have slowed down. I'm trying to upload four days a week, and I'm not going to promise that because you never know what comes up, and it's... <sighs> I forgot what it was like to like go into work and teach and then come back and have to film because it's very tiring especially because I have a very physical job. I'm a physical education teacher and being a teacher in it of itself managing multiple like 30 students at once it can be quite tiring so it's really hard to film <laughs> after work so i have to get my stamina back up for that i'm going for four videos a week we're gonna try outsider so that's kind of what you're gonna expect while i'm back in-person teaching just a few less uploads but i'm still gonna try and keep the momentum up because i love uploading frequently i love having statistics to watch wow this is way more pigmented than i thought it was gonna be let me put some powder <laughs> underneath probably gonna cover up the vesca highlight but it is what it is i wasn't sure if i would talk about this but i do want to keep everything of course as always very open with you guys so if you look in my description box and my instagram you'll see my email changed i mean i don't know who's keeping tabs on my email but a small change to the channel i did decide to get a manager it's not very common for a channel of my size to have a manager but I believe in my channel. I believe in the growth of my channel and I'm not good at responding to emails. <laughs> uh, especially business emails. I'm not very business savvy. I have no training in business or anything like anything. So I hired a manager and I do hope to get opportunities such as sponsorships and just being able to work with brands and partnerships. And I, I do hope that, you know, I don't want to seem like a sellout and that I'm only doing it for money and I'm going to become like those big influencers where everything is sponsored. Like, no, that, that ain't where I'm gonna go. 
I, you know, I want to work with brands that I love. I do want to be noticed by them because if I can monetarily benefit from that, then that just always goes back into improving the content of my channel as always. And I'm always going to post a ton of videos. Maybe one or two might be sponsored or have a sponsor, but always, always I'm going to make sure if I'm posting a lot of sponsored content that I will offset that with non-sponsored content. Like I post a lot, obviously like all of my sponsorships will be thought out products that I love brands that I believe in so I know sponsorships are kind of a iffy kind of thing and I've always been genuine from the jump with you guys oh my gosh I don't know where I want to go with this do hallucination because this looks crazy pretty how pretty that looks <sighs> For example, I've done collaborations and sponsorships with Odin's Eye. I am a proud affiliate of Odin's Eye. But you can see why, right? <laughs> Being as transparent as possible. I do want to grow my business in the makeup industry. Jose and I are thinking of relocating and I'm gonna have to start from scratch as far as makeup artistry and I want this to help grow that business. I'm gonna put some of that blue on my lower lash line. I said this in my Q&A. 2020 was the first year that I'd ever even considered going full-time with YouTube and it is something that really is on the table this year just comparing teaching to the wonderful world of YouTube. I'm not rushing the process by any means. If I need to continue teaching, I'm perfectly fine with that. But I do want to put the proper steps into play just to make sure I'm doing everything the right way. And I'm going to put a little bit of charming along the inner part of my lower lash line. <gasps> this is like super squishy, delicious feeling. So that's what those changes are. I'm really excited to start working with brands. That's seriously a dream come true to be able to work with these cosmetic companies that I've used since I was a teenager or maybe and even some new ones of course I do want to introduce you guys to new really cool companies that I believe in so I would like to know your thoughts and feedback on you know collaborations your thoughts on influencers or people that you watch on YouTube doing sponsorships because I never want it to be unpleasant for you to watch I'm trying to start navigating thinking about that because I am big enough now that I can take those opportunities and quite frankly I'm really excited about it and I absolutely love what I do here on YouTube and I want to continue to doing that and those are kind of the next steps in order to keep up quality content, products I'm buying, all of that. I love YouTube so much you guys. I love waking up on the weekends knowing it's a filming weekend and I have to batch film. I hate batch filming but I love it all though at the same time. <laughs> this look I'm gonna finish off with pink chameleon right here. And we're gonna put that in the inner half. Oh my God, how cool is that? That was like a shift. No, I'm just gonna stop it there. Let me film a tutorial really quickly on this. And then we'll be back to finish the rest of the face. Let me find a blue eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury dual liner. I'm gonna use this blue color down here in the lower lash line. I know I look crazy, I'm gonna hold off on the lashes. We're gonna do blush first, highlight, spray me down, then I'm gonna do lashes, cause I hate when I put on mascara and powders. Stick to it, tis a pet peeve of mine. For blush, we're gonna use Odin's Eye Ripe Papaya. I think this one will be a pun pop. Brum, brum. Odin's Eye was one of my favorite brands that I discovered in 2020. I know they're kind enough to send me their collections, but I would most definitely spend my own money on these products because they're so pretty. I, I love packaging. I love it. And then for highlight, these are also a part of their new collection. I don't even want to use them for real for real because look at that. Why would you even want to touch that? I'm not using that one. That one's, this one's the, my favorite one. This is Web of Destiny. Let's do the blue one. Maybe the blue packaging would make sense. This is Spring of Life. <sighs> Don't tell me makeup brands are coming out with the same stuff over and over again. This is like 10 minutes of me kissing the butt of Odin's eye and I am mad at it. It's a little bit more icy, a bit more glittery than I was expecting. Not my cup of tea as far as highlighter, but I think for this glittery ethereal-ish kind of look, it's perfect. If you don't like glitter, you won't like this, but still just everything. Let's do lashes now. I'm using my Lancome Monster Big Baby Mascara. We need some eyelashes. Do you guys see 
My outfit is not cute right now. We'll use some elf lashes. Like, I had, what? Who? Who invited you? These are the social butterfly lashes from e.l.f. Last I checked, they took these off the website, which I don't know why, because they are by far the best lashes that e.l.f. has. I need to bring it back. If you are still sitting through this video, kudos to you. Because I ran out of things to talk about. No, I mean, the main point of this, like why I wanted to sit here, I just wanted to play with makeup for one, as always, like I always want to do. To anybody wanting to start a channel, girlfriend, just, do it. I've noticed a change in the specific niche that I'm in in the last year. I think just with quarantine, there were a lot of new creators that joined and the group of creators that have recently, you know, well, that I've at least been watching and talking to like Yachty's Beauty, Beauty in the Frizz, All Feisty, wonderful, wonderful channels that you should check out. I feel like they really have added an extra strong sense of community and it's just been amazing to be a part of a group of all of these people and to have other like-minded people as far as our interests and to be able to talk about things that not a ton of people are interested in. I mean, that's why I created my channel. So if you are thinking of creating a channel, just do it. Reach out to people. Um, it is hard to grow on YouTube for sure. It is hard to kind of find your niche and what the best way is for you to succeed if that is your goal. Um, because it isn't all about the numbers. Once you create a community, you've had enough. I've been fulfilled for sure. Oh, I have like pink on my lashes. Do you see that? This lashes have been used like five times too many. Okay, lips. So original plan was to use some of the new Odin's eye lipsticks that I just received yesterday, but their color selection is very, very dark. It's just, it'll clash with the eyes, I think. Like the collection is beautiful, but the colors are quite deep for what I need right now. Oh, here we go again. You can stare at my sweatpants and my booty. I feel like that would be good. It's me again. I grabbed random colors. I'm gonna regret using BFF3. It's way too dark. I'm gonna try and use a really light hand. Oh, it's so dark. I said, I want a light lip and I'm using a chocolate deep brown lip liner. That's some snot coming down. I use as small of a line as I could. I always show the line it more. So I pulled a random lipstick. We're just going random today. This is from Too Faced. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. It's called Sex on the Peach. It's nice and cool tone. It almost has like a, like a purple undertone to it. Mm, if you had these lipsticks, don't they smell amazing? I love these lipsticks. I guess we're finished with the makeup. It's time for the best part that all of you were probably <laughs> waiting for. The giveaway! Mm, 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 mm. Hold on. Oh, nope. You can't see my, my, uh, my trash. It's like my hair is so frizzy, but this was a heat style. Like I heat styled it. There's no way to get the frizz out of my hair. There's really not. Oh, so this is a very, very, very special giveaway for me because 50K is such a huge milestone. I wanted to give a package that really was true to my viewers and my supporters. So let me show you the stuff that I've been collecting. <laughs> she cost me a pretty penny. So the first thing in the giveaway is going to be the Isam and Kinky Sweat brush collaboration. If you don't know who this wonderful woman right here is, this is Alicia. Her channel's name is Kinky Sweat and she's a beautiful human being. She is a brush expert so you can trust her that she made these picks and that they were great. Speaking of brushes, I also threw in two of my favorite refer brushes. We have a 13 brush and a 14 brush. I have two M Cosmetics blushes. I love their blushes. So we have Magic Hour and we have Fade Clementine. I don't want to open these. Sorry. And then I put in a pair of Lily Lashes, which is one of my favorite lash brands. This is the style Rome. It's so pretty. I'm jealous. Here's a big one. Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. So this is the quad. This is the good one. The one that I really, really love that came out this year of four amazing colors. Threw in two Vizzy Art 
It's their lip oils. So we have Patel and Beignet. These are really great and comfortable to keep in your purse. They're very, very moisturizing. And this Beignet color is so unique. It would look really good with this makeup look, honestly. We have Mama Pat's Dark Star Mascara. Really great mascara. I love Pat's mascaras. Okay, and here are probably the two most exciting items as well. I mean, everything in here is like quite delicious. So I have a fresh Natasha Denona Love Palette for you. I know the mini one just came out, but I loved the Love Palette all throughout 2020. So I wanted to give you guys one of those. And then finally, I guess this is kind of the grand prize, if you will, the 28 Purple Blue Palette from Natasha Denona. This is the best formula I've ever tried in eyeshadows. So I'm hoping that I can gift this to somebody who hasn't gotten to experience that. I think these are pretty good prices. I mean, that's up to you to decide, but I really chose things to throw in here. But I really loved 50K. It's such a special giveaway. I wanted to make sure it was really great just so that I can express my gratitude to you. And I wish there was better ways that I could do it, but I mean, that's all I got and a giveaway is really fun. <laughs> So here are the details if you would like to enter the giveaway. First and foremost, you're going to have to be subscribed to me and like this video and comment down below. In the comments, I don't want to limit you guys. If you do not have an Instagram, please just put your email down or whatever the best way to contact you is. But I do prefer to contact you through Instagram because the second condition is I want you to follow me on Instagram. So if you have an Instagram, please, please follow me. You won't regret it. I think I have some pretty nice stuff on there. I like to post my looks and my flat lace. Follow me on Instagram. I will most likely contact you from Instagram unless you actually really don't have an Instagram account, then I will contact you another way. Also, what I want you to comment, like, I don't care, whatever. Just comment whatever you want. <laughs> Just make sure there's something in there that I can contact you. And then finally, this is open internationally and it will be open for two weeks. So I will have all of this stuff written in the description box because I feel like I'm missing something. So all of the official details, make sure you check it out in the description box. But I'm really excited to give that to one of my supporters. And finally, for the billionth time, thank you so much for being on this journey with me and being a part of the reason why I hit 50k and making my dreams come true and all of that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you are. You're gonna lose in the giveaway. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.